but you'd say that the experience you've brought from a lifelong, um, you know, rally family and also, you know, your entire professional career, you were able to not, I wouldn't say tone it down, but shape it in a way that was, um, more efficient, cleaner. And like you said, just overall faster. Um, you would say you, you brought that to the equation, um, when you and uh, Travis kind of paired up. Yeah. I mean, he's been very lovely in the words he said, um, at the end of OG boy, he just, he said, this is all on her. Like <laughs> she taught me so many things in such a short time. Like at the end of the day, I'm an unknown name to many people. If that makes sense, when you talking in comparison to Travis Pastrana, but when I got in the car with Travis Pastrana, I'd done double the amount of rallies he had. So right, right. even though he had won five national championships and I hadn't won any, for me, that was a lot of, because I hadn't had a chance to just focus on that. I was traveling around the world doing things in the Scottish Rally Championship, the Australian, the New Zealand, the Asia Pacific, the World Rally Championship, like things all over developing my career and not necessarily just always focusing on one championship. So while I was off developing my career, Travis has been more set in racing in America. He done some world stuff back in, I think it was like 2008 and nine or something, but he focused, he's focused here. Um, so whereas for me, I learned so much just traveling around the world, working with different drivers, different cars, all those sort of things. So, you know, we may be talking about a word in our pace notes and he may say that this word isn't working for me anymore. Reed, do you have an idea of, and I'd be like, well, this driver I worked with tried this or this one tried that. And he's like, Oh, I like that. So all of a sudden when he's processing at speed and we're coming down, he's processing something that's got less syllables. It's an easier word to understand and he's not having to think as much. Mm -hmm. And that's so important in our sport. So, you know, there's been, Obviously, Travis is brilliant. I mean, he's, in my mind, possibly the best motorsport, you know, athlete in the world because he doesn't just, he can't just, he's done NASCAR, he's done his motocross stuff, he's done rally, he's done so many things, you know what I mean? So, you know, not many people have done what Travis has as far as a, the broad, broad spectrum of motorsport. Right. So getting in with him was incredible for me because, you know, it's someone that we all look up to. Um, so to think that then I could, you know, I never treated him like, oh, this is Travis. I just was like, okay, I need to teach him these things, you know what I mean? Or <laughs> right. I need to show him this. Like, so I think that's why it's worked because he felt like I was in there to just make us go better and win, not, oh my God, I'm co-driving for Travis Pastrana. Like, right. so no time for that. <laughs> no time for that. You know what I mean? Even though inside I might've been like, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy what's happening right now. But really, you yeah. were...